The World Cup curse. This is the theory that after a European nation wins a World Cup, they get eliminated in the group stages of the very next. With this being the case with the last four European champions, this curse can start to feel very real. The curse was started by France who after winning the 98 World Cup in their home soil were seen as favourites in the very next World Cup in South Korea. They were drawn in a favourable group with the likes of Denmark, Senegal and Uruguay. They were seen as one of the most feared footballing nations at the time but ended up finishing last without even scoring a goal. This was the same team with the likes of Terry Henry, Zinedine Zidane and Trezeguet and after going out in the very first stage the French captain at the time Desailly quoted it's really something terrible because it doesn't happen that the world champions go out in the very first round. We still have the best players but something was broken in the machine. And moving forward to the 2006 World Cup final, Italy took on France and after a penalty shootout came out as champions. And in the next World Cup in South Africa 2010, Italy drew a favourable group consisting of Paraguay, Slovakia and New Zealand. Three teams that have never come close to winning a World Cup. In fact, all three teams were some of the lowest ranked teams in 2010, but Italy got knocked out without even winning. Drawing 1-1 against Paraguay on the opening day, 1-1 against New Zealand and then losing 3-2 to Slovakia, a nation that was playing in the very first World Cup. This was a huge upset and the Italians were embarrassed. This was the same team that lifted that trophy in the 2006 World Cup. They played with a similar squad consisting of the likes of Buffon, Cannavaro, Perlo, Gattuso and the list just keeps going on. They got knocked out and finished at the very bottom to what seemed like the easiest group in the competition but this could all be a coincidence. The winners of that World Cup ended up being Spain after Iniesta scored that memorable goal against Netherlands in extra time. This Spain team was so dominant they also won the 2008 and 2012 Euros and in the 2014 World Cup Spain got drawn in what seemed like to be a favourable group. Remember this was the same Spain squad with the likes of Casillas, Pique, David Villa, Xavi, Ramos, Mata, Alonso, yeah you get the idea. Yet they got knocked out losing out to Chile and the Netherlands. This is one of the biggest World Cup upsets to this day as one of the favourites to win the whole thing were out in the very first stage. It was a shock, sure, an upset, it, well it was, but even then a curse just didn't sit right. Well in that World Cup Germany ended up going all the way beating Argentina 1-0 in the final after a goal from Mario Goza and leading up to the next World Cup in Russia, Germany were one of the favourites, but surely not again. Surely not. Well, they drew a group consisting of the likes of Mexico, Sweden and South Korea. Three teams Germany were expecting to beat or at least get a result out of. This is the same Germany side that won the previous World Cup that looked invincible leading up to it, beating teams left, right and centre. In the opening game of the group, Germany faced Mexico and went behind in the 35th minute after a young Herving Lozano put the ball past Neuer. From there, it just wasn't meant to be. The Mexico goalkeeper put up the greatest performance of his life, a performance he couldn't match ever again, some could argue, and Germany ended up losing 1-0. In the second game, they faced Sweden and narrowly won in the last minute thanks to Tony Cruz. And in the final game where Germany had to win, they faced South Korea. And after struggling to score the whole game, they put all the players forward in the 90th minute and end up conceding not once but twice in stoppage time. Germany were knocked out and the World Cup curse started to feel very real. Fast forward to today, France who won the 2018 World Cup in Russia are drawn in a group they are favourites in and expected to go through. However, with all the pressure from being the previous champions and the so-called World Cup curse being mentioned everywhere, all eyes will be on them. They have Australia, Denmark and Tunisia, three teams they are expecting to beat and then and only then we will find out if this curse is the real deal or just a past myth. Now the World Cup curse can be debunked with a straightforward theory, age. 
The same players that won the previous World Cup have gotten older and in most cases would have been out of the prime when the next World Cup came around. And you see, a lot of the times when these nations win the World Cup, they have a golden generation of players coming together for the nation forming a dominant squad. However, by the next tournament, they are four years older and usually fall out of the prime. Even if one or two players stay in the prime, most of them will be out of it. Injuries, shifting form, call-up changes can all be a factor. But even then, this cannot explain the occurrence of the last two decades. Now, what about the change of managers and playing styles? Well, even though France had a change of manager, Italy, Spain and Germany had the same head coach in both tournaments. Now, I'm not saying any of these have not played a part in the last World Cups, but there is surely more to it than ageing and a change of managers. Now, whether this is a curse or not, we will never know unless Pogba or his brother come out when France get knocked out. Nah, but seriously, what does play a big part in this theory is the psychological factors that goes on the squad and staff of that nation. After such a high, replicating it again four years later with a similar team is going to be tougher than ever. The pressure is unmatched compared to the first tournament, the determination is lowered and when you're playing in such a competitive tournament, the teams that want it more will come out on top no matter of skill and a lot of the times this is exactly what we have seen. Now this is the only logical reason we can actually come up with but either way the World Cup is days away and we will then find out the truth. That brings us to the end of it and YouTube does think you'll actually like this video so let's see if they're right or not.